Lastly, let's talk about epistaxis, which is a fancy name for a nosebleed. This can be caused by trauma, a bleeding disorder, dry air, allergies, as well as certain medications. So if a child has a nosebleed, we want to lean the child's head forward and not back because we want to avoid having them swallow the blood. We want to maintain pressure with our thumb and finger on the soft part of the nose and maintain pressure for 10 minutes. We can also apply an ice pack to the bridge of the nose. For persistent bleeding, we can use packing with epinephrine or the provider can cauterize the bleed. In terms of family teaching, we want to advise our families to keep the child's nose lubricated and use a cool mist humidifier in their room. We should also advise the child to avoid blowing their nose